back on drugs and I'm better than ever. Yeah, yeah. It's a rockin' battery revival! I, I don't know what the I was thinking. Drink it up! And then he can bring your spunky little funny up on the road with us and I can finish eating that chocolate bar out of her sweet little girly bits. Horns up, Metalheads. It's time for another edition of Rockin' Metal Revival. Hopefully you haven't melted this weekend, man. It is hot as Hades out there. Oh, yeah. Holy cow, man. Uh, Humidity doesn't help. Stay hydrated. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, and I'm not talking about drinking a 30-pack of beers. Stay hydrated, my friend. No, no, definitely. But uh, we are back in the uh, air-conditioned studios, uh, the hookah lounge studios where Jerry is... uh, currently hold up in oh yeah and i am in the studio here in parts unknown jim bob was just lurking around here a little earlier oh no uh yeah i'm so glad i should have must known smell him. pretty bad there now yeah you know i we got him uh his own uh, well what it is is it's a portable shower and he just hooks up the garden hose to it oh he's cool. happy cool. yeah he's that happy. works that helps. Uh, today's show, you got the opportunity to talk to uh, Bobby Blitz from uh, oh, Overkill, man. Yeah, How man. Was that? that was cool, man. That was cool. I wish I would have had more time because he was he was cool to talk to, man. I had a lot a lot more things to ask him, but eh, ran out of time. But yeah, well, you know, really good you guy, know, nice guy. As far as in the history of thrash, uh, you know, they've been around since 1980. Yeah, dude. Overkill I, has, and I, I, you know what? I just never, ever took the time to listen to Overkill. I think that I t- asked him if he thinks they kind of got overlooked, man, and he's like, oh, you know, it's just. He actually said says something like, uh, "Wow, well, I'm gonna tell you." But yeah, I feel okay, yeah, there, we'll man. have to listen to the yeah, interview. So he was a good dude, man. Yeah, very good. He's got a new band with uh, Mike Portnoy. I mean, I think everybody's in oh. a band with Mark, Mike Portnoy right now. I'm working on getting a band going and seeing if I can get Mark Portnoy in it. Play yeah. Drums. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to call You want to play bass? You want to play the bass? The Mike Portnoy Experience? Yes, yes, yes. We'll let him sing and everything, and we'll just play the music <laughs> behind it. Yeah. All right, we'll have to check that out. Uh, so on the show tonight, we've got some new music, too, dude. we got a lot of new music sent to us in the last couple of days. Oh, yeah. And I kind of went through when I was trying to do the uh, playlist for today and pick up some tunes that were released through 2020, you know, since the first of the year, and kind of get people uh, re-familiarized with, with some of this music. Nice, nice. Yeah. You know, we've... Uh, good stuff. We, we got the new one from Wayland. We've got that coming up. We've also got uh, the new one from a band of two of my favorite bands combined into one, and it's called Cherry Truck. Oh, Blackstone yeah. Blackstone Cherry and Monster Truck together. That's cool. Also, one. The Lonely Ones. Ooh, that Man. one's even cooler. I dig that <laughs> one. Did, hey, what did you think of that? I thought it was really cool. I, you I know really what? liked I, the way they did it. Let's not wait. It's, let's yeah. just go with it. Let's kick the show, Let's kick the show off. This is the Lonely Ones, the theme from Flash. These are, these are the guys uh, that used to be known as Boba Flex. It's wow. uh, kicking off this edition of Rockin' Metal Revival. There's brand new music from a band called Cherry Truck. It's called Love Become Law. And that, uh, I think you, you know what? It's almost like Chris Robertson from Blackstone Cherry is, singing in front of monster truck because it's like the music of monster truck with the vocals of blackstone cherry yeah well and the other vocals too i think the other guy sings too right so yeah exactly it's like, but it's great mix <laughs> that I, cool i like it i like that i, I like go watch I hope that there's more to come from that yeah definitely want to hear some more yeah i know that the guys in blackstone cherry had an album uh, that was just getting ready to be remastered or get to be mastered in uh, march Oh, yeah. And they're yeah. all like, yeah, well, we're going to wait until this is over before we throw that out, you know? We yeah, would so they like can to go, go out tour and tour when uh, we release this album. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And also, the guys in Wayland uh, sent us a new tune this week, Jerry, called Be the Lion. Uh, they're going to be releasing a four-song EP coming up. Oh, okay. Cool. So uh, cool. we got that. they got that to look forward to. I know Phil said, when was the last time I was in Rock and Metal Revival? I said about a year ago. 
Yeah, wouldn't put you know, out that last so album. Said, well, think. maybe Mitch or I will call in. We'll talk about this new EP. I said, we can do that. Yeah. We certainly can do that. So uh, I was looking at our list, man, of uh, people coming up. Oh, we yeah, have got, we got some really good guests coming up in the next weeks. You know what I mean? Uh, we, sure? Like I said, we got Bobby Blitz on this week. We got Corey Glover of Living Color coming up. Oh, next yeah. Next week, Mike Lapon, Klaus Mine. Ooh. Um, Joe Bouchard, who was the original basis of uh, Blue Acer Cult, and uh, you got to ask yeah. about the cowbell. Man. And his brother put the cowbell. Al, on wasn't there. it? His brother yeah. Al was the cowbell player. Yeah, they tried a bunch of different instruments, I guess, too. Yeah. Which, which is well, cool. we'll yeah, talk. Talk. That's a good one, man. Yeah. Uh, also, Chips Enough, uh, who is the lead vocalist of Enough's Enough in the bass player. Hey, I heard rumor that Donnie V might be doing some stuff with Enough's Enough again. No way. That would be yeah. cool. That'd be cool. They need that him. would be cool. They need that voice back. Yeah, they definitely can use that. They really do. Uh, coming up, like I said, next hour we'll talk to Bobby Blitz of Overkill. And you know, when you start thinking of thrash bands, you know, you got the big four. And you yeah. know, I always wondered where Overkill fit in that. They, I mean, they've been doing music, man, for forty years. Yeah, and yep, I asked him something about that. So. Yeah, and then also you think about that. What's the what's the band with lips in it? Anvil. There's another band. Yeah, that's just, a, you know. Yeah, they maybe they should. They should have made a movie about Overkill like they did with Anvil. Yeah, they could. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta dig that one out again. I haven't seen. I you know I watched that right when it came out, and I have that in the Lemmy documentary. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. You know that's some good TV watching right there. I mean, it gives you something to do. Uh, so coming up, we've got uh, our who's new that Lemmy weird? guy. I never heard of that Lemmy guy. Lemmy who? Lemmy who? Yeah, no. Yeah. All right. So yeah, <laughs> what? we've got uh, we've got news of the weird and talking real metal, and then next hour Jerry's conversation with Bobby Blitz of BPMD. And what a great album that is! Yeah. Uh, right now, let's get back into some uh, more music that was released here in 2020. I always liked this song uh, when Billy Joel did it, but I really not like it oh. now that Mark Zavon did it. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yes, very cool. Too. I love this cover. This is Big Shot on Rock and Metal Revival. From their album Face the Music, there's Burning Rain. And Face the Music, your title track right there. I love that band, man. Oh, I Great album. I'm just sad that we'll never get to see them play live. Yeah, it's sure looking that way. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, yeah, that's just not cool. There's uh, so many bands you know any more that these offshoot like i don't know if we'll ever get to see uh black swan either yeah that's a good that was a good album man hopefully they'll yeah, put I out still, another album or something it. at least while yeah. they're doing nothing i still I, I still listen to that album a lot and uh that's pretty much a sign of a good album after a couple of months if you're still listening to it yep you I, know what i'm saying I, so i'd say yeah yeah All that's right. a good one well, man all right, it is time for News of the Weird, and uh, we'll start right off in our neighbor state of Minnesota. Oh, yeah? I think, yeah. I think Corey, might, uh, Corey up at Uncontrolled Noise might uh, have yes. something to do with that. Uh-oh. So, but uh, really, Jerry, I'm not really sure uh, this is what drones are supposed to be used for. <laughs> but police, oh, no. but police oh, no. in Golden Valley, Minnesota, have been using drones to spy on people at a hidden beach in the area. To make sure that they're not nude. Oh, okay. Yeah. They stay yeah, at the beach. Yeah, because if they're nude, we're, just, we're not going to enforce anything. We just want to know. No. <laughs> we just want to make sure they're wearing masks. Yeah. 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 Uh, they say that the beach was an uh, un, uh, unofficial reputation as a good place to just walk around naked. Oh, but okay. uh, that is illegal, according to the police up there in Golden Valley, Minnesota. Yeah, there you can't be walking around there naked, eh? Oh, no. But... Uh, Spying on people with drones is legal because the beach is a public space. Okay. So, huh. uh, Corey, hmm. if you got a if you got a drone yeah. with a camera, my man, yeah. uh, there you go. Uh, so over the weekend, after they got dozens of complaints about nudity and drinking, they sent out the drones, and they caught several people naked on the beach and issue, issued them all citations. Oh, shame, shame. 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 People from Minnesota got nothing better to do than laying <laughs> around, around naked, naked at the beach. Yeah. Jeez. I don't do that All right, that from the there house. we go down to Texas, Jerry. And, uh, you know, being locked up, people are finding out that uh, people are a little weirder than uh, we, all, we all knew before this thing. Um, people have some crazy fetishes. 
Mm-hmm. All right? And it looks like they're all willing to spend big money on them. So we're not going to talk about ours. Okay? No, no, But no. Uh, we're going to talk about this 21-year-old woman named Jenna Phillips. And she lives in Austin, Texas. Uh, she recently quit her job as an optician. All right? Because she found out that men were willing to pay up to six figures a month for videos of her acting like a dog. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Really? Apparently, no. Seriously, apparently, uh, <laughs> that's a fetish with a lot of guys that a lot of guys are oh, into. No way. Yeah, yeah, Jenna has an account on uh, OnlyFans where she charges twenty dollars a month for videos of her chasing balls around her yard. Walking on a leash, rolling around in the uh, grass like a dog, and taking baths. Now, most of these, she's either scantily uh, clothed or she's naked. Oh. So that you know. Oh, that might have something to do with it. Yeah, it might have something to do with it. But uh, yeah. get this: she also makes twelve hundred dollar custom videos. Uh oh. So for you, you know, you out yeah. there who are missing your uh, long lost pet, you, you never know. Oh, uh, come on, I need uh, to miss Fido so much. <laughs> Will you do a video of what he used to do yeah. while, while we're sitting yeah. here watching TV? And yeah, he'd yeah. always Could have. You, <laughs> you, you eat some peanut butter off? Uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, get this, yeah. Jerry. Oh, Jenna yeah. is on pace to clear more than a million dollars this year. Yikes! Don't tell doing the tax these dog man. Videos. Oh, nice. <laughs> Man, I have Man. wasted my life. Man, just think. Yeah. Wow. Wow. All right. And last but not least, we're going to go wow. down to the great state of Georgia, where it seems like a major crime for Allen Hurst, uh, a town of less than 700 people in southeast Georgia. A uh, female body, uh, Jerry, was uh, spotted on the railroad tracks there. And uh, Liberty County deputies gathered at the scene and waited for the coroner. It took a while before they realized that... Um, Man. The corpse was actually a sex doll. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Really? Detec- yeah, Detective Mike Al Britton uh, said oh, officers wow. found the female wow. humanoid Okay. Uh, this past Tuesday afternoon. Under department policy, deputies can't touch a dead body until the coroner arrives. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, so. once the coroner came to the scene, detectives began checking the body for injuries and immediately realized... Oh. <laughs> That they called yeah. in the coroner for a sex doll. <laughs> Must have been pretty realistic looking. Jeez. Uh, detec- detective said it was uh, anatomically correct with uh, realistic futures, and it was fully dressed. Okay. Uh, it is unclear oh, wow. whether authorities. Okay. Yeah. It that was w- unclear whether authorities will investigate. Al Britton said uh, he's never encountered an incident quite like this. So uh, uh, that was quite the prank. Didn't have any ID on her. No, 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 no ID on her, oh, and uh, I guess they, Bet they had it wasn't DNA. a used sex doll because there was no DNA. No DNA either, huh? No, no wow. DNA. Wow, somebody made off with a, a doll and let <laughs> play them. Yeah, that'll that'll joke. that'll disappear from the evidence locker on Friday. Uh, <laughs> Nobody's claimed it yet, have they? <laughs> no, no. Why you think about road tripping to Georgia? <laughs> Uh, no, no. All right. No, well, no. That's going <laughs> to... I'm that's working on a up. GoFundMe for the other thing, man. What, oh, for the, the dog, dog videos. Thing? Yeah. Yeah, right. no, I'm kidding. Yeah, send <laughs> your donations to, yeah, to Rock and Metal Revival so Jerry can watch these dog videos. <laughs> yeah, got to raise some You know, funds. he is an animal lover. She doesn't do... That stuff doesn't grow on trees, man, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but she'll go under a tree or on a tree if you want. Yeah, wow. Oh, <laughs> my. <laughs> All right, that's going to wind up News of the Weird. Coming up, we got Talking Real Metal. And next hour, Jerry's conversation with Bobby Blitz of BPMD and Overkill right here on Rock and Metal Revival. Here's your latest hard rock and metal news on Rock and Metal Revival. Horns up, metalheads. It's time once again for another edition of Talking Real Metal, your hard rock and metal news. And for all you kids in summer school for metal, it's time Ooh. to get your pen and paper out. Oh, yeah. Darn. I didn't ring the bell, man. Yeah, you didn't ring the bell. Come on, Jerry. Wake up, kids. Time to, yeah. time to get your You're schooling on. You're in summer school schedule. Yeah, it don't mean you get no edumacating. No, that's Just right. Did you ever him. have to go to summer school? Yeah, I did. For driver's did ed. Did you really? For driver's ed. <laughs> no, okay, that was because I didn't like my teacher, man, and I didn't care what he had to say. I wouldn't listen. <laughs>